it's Misty here. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I have my March update for Project Level Up. This is a eyeshadow painting project that was created by Sophie Alexandra, who is linked down below. It's basically a marriage of no pan left behind, pan in every palette, and pan those eyeshadows. There are five levels, so each level you pick a new palette to work on. Level one, you use each shade one time, hit one band. Level two, use each shade two times, hit two pans. Level three, you can go all the way up to five and start again, or you can keep going. So I have been, I restarted in January because I finally hit the rest of the pans in that project level five, or the level five palette I was working on. It was a Nobla Cutie palette, six pan palette. It took me six months to hit pan. <laughs> five shades. Four of them were shimmers. It took forever. So anyway, um, so I completed all the way to level five. So back in January, I started again. And the last time I saw you guys, I showed you an update on level two uh, and level one. And now I'm going to work on level, and I brought in level three. Um, we're going to be making some changes. So, but let's talk about level two first. So last time I saw you, I was waiting for one more pan. And I was working on this mat right here. And as you can see, I finally hit pan. I think it took me 15, 16 times. I've already thrown away the, the sheet that I was tracking on. This palette is lovely, and from what I understand, BH Cosmetics is re-releasing their travel palettes. I know they've re-released the Lost in Los Angeles, and I believe it was Angie who mentioned they're bringing this one back. Hopefully, they bring back their brunch, or brunch palettes, the Avocado Toast, Blueberry Muffin, Mimosa, because those are so stinking good. But anyway, if I were to pan this, like if I were to do a pan that palette or whatever, I would stick away, like stay away from these three. Um, I've mentioned before, I do not like red on me now. Um, I guess I've never, these are more kind of wine berry, but yeah, no. <laughs> I still don't think I would have anything to do with them. So that's level two and level two is done. Put that back before I forget. So for level three, I bought in this palette. This is the Nomad Cosmetic. Paradise Islands palette and I mentioned my main goal for this was to see if it was one that I wanted to keep and what I liked because I had I don't know five or six Nomad palettes this is the only one I kept and I mainly kept it for the color story um I hate this palette and I hate this formula <laughs> I hate it. 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 Um, one of the issues is that most of these are not matte. They're satins. That's issue number one. Issue number two, the only ones that really have a lighter color to blend out, blend them out are the greens and the blue, kind of the blues. There's not another matte to blend this out. Um, and I tried to use this matte. It didn't work. I tried to use this mat with this mat. It didn't work. So I'm in the middle of doing my eye look. I'm trying to use this Paradise Island from Nomad. And this is the issue I have with the mats when they're satin. They don't blend together. Like there's no blending them together. And <laughs> using my phone to... Where did it go? <laughs> Where did it go? And look at all the powder kick up. Like this is the issue I have with Nomad. And they have me by the throat with this new Royal English or Royal Europe palette. But I can't get over this. <sighs> like seriously. They don't blend. And if you can get this to blend, you tell me how. Because I can't. I can't get it to blend. These are powdery AF and they just don't blend. I don't understand it. They just don't blend. And on top of that, on top of that, I had to use a white base to get it to show up. So I don't know if I got a dud palette or or if if it's I just don't know how to work with eyeshadow because I cannot make it work. I've tried everything. Look, that doesn't even show up. Where did it go? 
look how vibrant and pretty it is in the pan and then it doesn't show up. The same for this one. Where does it go? <laughs> they're patchy AF. The shimmers are okay, but they're nowhere near impactful enough for what it is. And I'm not gonna lie to you, they have me tempted with that Royal Europe palette. They have me tempted. And I was watching Teresa's Is Dead video on it and she mentioned how the mattes were great. And I said, are they mattes or are they satins? Because I cannot work with these satins. I just can't. I hate them. I hate this palette. <laughs> I hate it. I hate that I spent so much fucking money on it. I hate that I can't get it to work. And I hate that I just don't like it. I just don't like Nomad Formula. I just don't. I will say this shimmer is pretty and this shimmer is pretty, but I have these shimmers in my Glam Light Margarita palette. I have these shimmers in my Glam Light Strawberry Shortcake palette. So there's really nothing that's keeping me. And this is a satin. This is a satin. This is a satin. How are you supposed to? How are you supposed to blend that out? And if I'm wrong and that's not a satin, let me know. But yeah, they're just, I don't know. I mean, no offense to people who love Nomad, but I just don't. I just don't. I just don't. I just don't think it's worth it. And while the Roll Europe is a really pretty color palette, I already have that with my Blend Bunny palette. So, unfortunately, I don't want it. I don't want Nomad. They're not gonna get me again. That's for goddamn sure. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's personal personal preference, and my preference is to never have Nomad ever again in my life. And I saved myself what sixty bucks. <laughs> so, yeah. Unfortunately, this just ain't it. So, I know a lot of people. I know Leah mentioned it, and a couple other people were interested in my final thoughts. My final thoughts are: this palette just doesn't compare when you've used, you know, Terra Moons, when you've used Blend Bunny, when you've used, you know, Fantasy Cosmetica, when you've used Give Me Glow, like when you've used, you know, these indie brands that have really beautiful eyeshadows, something like this almost feels like a drugstore palette at an expensive price. So while Nomad gets me all the time with their color stories, like I said, that Royal Europe palette is calling my name, but I just, I just can't. I just cannot give them any more money. So level three is changing. <laughs> that is gonna be donated or sold, I don't know. If you want it, let me know, I will sell it to you. It does have one pan, but it's little, anyway. So for level three, I really debated on what I wanted to bring in because this, this project could go really go either way. Um, I've been working on older palettes in my collection. Like I worked on the Gilded Twilight and I said, you know, level one's kind of like, you know, my, am I gonna keep it or am I gonna dump it? Level three turned out to be that way too. But I really wanted to work in palettes that didn't have any love. So initially I thought about bringing in my Glam Light ice cream palette. You guys know last year I considered that to be my pan. Like I was like, am I gonna pan this palette? <laughs> I'm gonna try to pan this palette. That palette, spoiler alert, has two pans in it. And it's going into another project that starts in April. So that palette is getting love. Um, the cake palette has a shade that's going into a project that starts in April. That palette is getting love. I don't want to work on ColourPop palettes. Um, I need to share with you guys just how many mattes from ColourPop I threw away because they were dry and crusty. But like I didn't want to work on that and I didn't want to bring in a palette that would compete with whatever else I'm painting. If you missed it, I did a pan that palette update where I mentioned that's gonna be a rolling style project. And I currently brought in a kind of monochromatic. So I have a mint, you know, kind of mint green, turquoisey aqua palette, and then I have a pink and purple palette. So I was like, okay, I have to bring in something that doesn't really compete. I wanna bring in something that, 
you know, I, I that I really am drawn to or really want to try. So what I settled on was the Cosmic Brushes Serenity Palette. Now, I I think I mentioned I bought this in eight, like January. Um, and I had enough eyeshadows in my eyeshadow bank. We're gonna have to restart that probably in May. <laughs> April's my birthday month. I'm gonna buy whatever the fuck I want. But anyway, so I decided for level three that I'm gonna bring in the Serenity palette from Fantasy Cosmetica. Now, this palette is has a couple of shades that may, um, uh, what's the word, conflict. So we have a couple of purples that may conflict in the J cat and then we have kind of this minty turquoisey color that may also conflict but the purpose of level three is to use each shade three times and hit three pans so I can get my three uses on those purples and then work on painting something else so I am really excited to try this palette and try this brand Angie went on and on and on about how good this palette is I didn't get the Muse palette it sold out in like five minutes. Um, I did pick up the Rose Dawn palette, but that one is way more purple and way more pink and it would just compete. So anyway, this is gonna be level three. So there are 20 shades. <laughs> so, 60 uses and then pan. Um, I will probably try to either pan two mattes and one shimmer or um, we'll just see what happens, whatever I'm drawn to. You guys know, I've mentioned before, this time of year, I'm very drawn to bright colors. I mean, look at my look at my shirt, my eye look today. So I feel like this will work great with that. It gives me some depth where um, the other palette I'm gonna bring in um, has some depth that doesn't have a whole bunch of depth. But yeah, this I have a feeling this peach shade right here is going to get is going to get a lot of use. Like a lot of use. A lot of use. So Serenity Cosmic Brushes Level 3. I'm excited to try this formula. Like I said, I do have another palette. Um, I don't know if the formula is the same, but yeah, I'm excited to try it. For Level 4, <laughs> I'm bringing in the palette I have on my eyes today. Now I did top it with uh, another shadow because I'm trying to hit pan in it. But I'm gonna bring in this. This is the Sorcerer palette from Fantasy Cosmetica. It's a nine pan palette. I have to use each shade four times and hit four pans. This palette is so fucking pretty. I have these four shades on my lid. And again, it's hard to see, but this one is what you see on my inner corner. I mean, look at that. Look at these shimmers in comparison to the ones from Nomad. There's just no comparison. There's just no comparison. I almost put this one on my lid today too, because it does have a pink, like it's a multi-chrome. These are both multi-chromes. All three of them are multi-chromes, I think. And I absolutely love the two mattes I used. These pigmented, blended easily, had no issues whatsoever. Um, I decided to keep it on the top of the lid only because I didn't want um, a really deep look. So you can go deep. You have these three that can go deep. You have this kind of dark wine color that would pair beautifully with this, or you can mix, you know, make your own purple. This, these two are deep, but they're also beautiful. Let me show you this one. So this one reminds me of what, is it a glass bowl from ColourPop? It's got a bit more purple than the brown base though. So you've got a topper that will look good on basically anything. You've got this deepy kind of bluey turquoisey green and then you have this kind of neutral color. Absolutely gorgeous. And I think a four pen palette, or excuse me, <laughs> a nine pen palette is a good choice for uh, level four. So yeah, anyway, <laughs> to recap, um, no, no, no mad, no, 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 no mad, no, no. If you are interested in purchasing it at a discounted price, reach out to me on Instagram, leave a comment down below, whatever you want to do. I'm bringing in the Serenity palette from Cosmic Brushes for level three, and I will have pictures of these. I will see if I have the energy to insert swatches. Let me swatch just a couple of these mats instead, because I'm like, Missy, you're not going to have any. <laughs> you're not going to have any energy after this. 
So there's the peach, there's a green, and then there's like a deeper color. Oh yeah. Ooh, <laughs> that's pretty. And I considered the Lure palette from Blend Bunny. Uh oh, um, but that had three rows that um, competed. So I was like, nah, <laughs> not that one. Maybe that one will be level, you know, one or two later in the year. But yeah, anyway, that's it. I'll oh, that. Sorry this was talky talky, but I wanted to explain my thoughts on the Nomad palette and I wanted to explain why I was bringing the other ones in. But yeah, that's it. That's it. I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is going to be a bitch and a half to edit. It's the good job. Good job. Anywho, I love your faces. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Like I mentioned, I'm hoping to come back starting the first. And that video will be my um, beauty A to Z and we'll just kind of hit the ground running in April. Um, my nephew's birthday was uh, the 27th. So Monday he turned two. We're going to his birthday party on the first. So that'll be some fun and getting out and seeing people because I haven't done that unless they've been a doctor. <laughs> That's not my word. So anywho, I love your faces. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me over on Instagram and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.